Look, your karmics, well, I say your karmics, but karmics is people who had it out for you, right? Well, your karmics wanted you ungrounded, unstable, so that way they can get you off your center. See, these people knew your destiny because they know people that's not like them. They can recognize one that's not of their own. You got to understand these people, people can recognize a person that's not one of their kind. And if they feel like if you're not rocking with them or if you're not like doing what they do, then you're like an op or a secret op. So they look at you as competition, which is why I'm going to do this new stream. I'm telling you right now, yo, I got these clips recorded when Bandman Kevin was talking about CJ So Cool. And honestly, yo, I'm neutral in between the situation. I'm glad I never got involved with this, you know, relationship because I realized there's, there's a lot of like so much bad energy between the both of them. But when you understand this situation, you understand how you look or how you appear to the public when you're not grounded. See, these individuals are not grounded, which is why they're always focusing on the past, on other individuals' backs, on always trying to put others in like a less position, a lesser position than they were before. You can tell those types. And this is why I mention this in this topic that I'm talking about right now. Your ex-karmics wanted you ungrounded. You have to look at it like a similar situation. They're going to appear on surface like they're riding for you. But underneath the surface, they've never been riding for you. And it showed. So, yo, go check out this new video I got popping out. It's called, um, what's it called? Did CJ something go bam, man, man, Kevo? Or, oh, the real reason why CJ so cool went broke. And it's going to show you the way he speaks about his man, well, his ex-man, will show you how he really felt about him. And it really show you how these karmics feel. These karmics will have more than you, but they want you unstable. They want you ungrounded. They want you to be in a decline. I want you to be in your bag. So they may have knowledge or they may have something that you need to know, right? But instead, they'll withhold giving you that knowledge to give you something that you don't need. So that way, chances of you sabotaging yourself or well, increases. Yeah. So, yo, watch out, yo. I actually just went through, like, similar episodes where... Well, I definitely went through similar episodes, but where... If you're ungrounded, you're going to be focused on like past related topics. You're going to be focused on like what the next man did or what she, she, she so did like five years back or so. So like this because you're not grounded. Grounded means that you are in alignment, meaning that you are focused. It means you are like centered. It means, well, basically you are solid in your center. It means you're not questioning anyone else's. You're not looking at this bag, the next man's bag. You're not you're not trying to bring other people's down. You're not trying to utilize um what's it called? Uh secret sabotaging or you know, narcissist tactic or when they're secretly hating on you but don't want to appear as that to the public where they can justify themselves and play as victim. You're not doing none of that. It's because you're grounded. You don't need to put another in a lesser place. You don't need to try to, you know, throw arrows and throw shots at the next man. You don't need to try to debunk or decredit or defame somebody that has not done anything to you or not had intentions of doing anything to you. So you have to understand that. So I'm about to do this video. It's like the real reason why CJ so cool and broke. And I see now, but I'm glad I'm doing it. And I'm not going to do it on that related alone. It's not, this video isn't about why CJ so cool and broke. It's like, it shows you the people he had around him and how they really think. That's how I'm breaking down this video. I'm breaking down this video and analyzing it how they really thought because we understand see, he was all about material possessions and he wasted too much money and he was spending too much, you know, Louis Vuitton shit and didn't have the assets because you have to be making that money for 10 years plus to be going in that much and spending that much money. If you're making it for three, four, five years or even lesser than that, then it's a huge risk of buying that expensive stuff and expect you to stay on a constant incline. So, but Batman Kevil knew that. He knew that. That's why he don't buy too much frivolous stuff. He's not doing that stuff because that dude's smart when it comes to re re retaining money and keeping that always built because you have to retain that money to keep flipping that money. 
You have to have money to flip that money. You can't flip money with nobody. That's the thing. And Batman Campbell, I said Batman Campbell, but Batman Campbell, you understand that? That dude's smart. And I realized he could have helped CJ so cool a lot more, but my man was ungrounded. So it's kind of like both of them. Like, I'm not picking sides. I'm neutral. I'm in the middle because both of them have things, characteristics that I don't see myself continuing to justify myself if I still hold those characteristics. I'm not going to justify that. I'm going to make note of it. That way I can bring it to the surface. That way I can work on that and release that as soon as I, as soon as possible, as soon as I come to the realization of what it is and what's bothering me, to be quite honest with you, because there's no point in holding on to anything that I fully understand. I only hold on to things that I don't understand. If I don't understand it, I'll hold on to it. But if you hold on to it, chances of you being ungrounded increases. So that's why I say, yeah, you holding on to things is you being ungrounded because you're focusing on things that doesn't pertain in this present moment. And that is how the enemy wins. That is how you you can lose everything. That is how you lose the bag. That's everything. The baby only lost his bag or lost uh, the increase of that bag that he was building every day because he wasn't grounded. Prime example, the baby wasn't grounded. That's why he was talking about gay people. He should not be talking about gay people. They, they pretty much own everything right now. Everything. And my man was talking about them when they own everything. They can blackball that, but which they did. I mean, he still got some bread, but they blackballed him. And he's still making bread, but it's not nearly as much as he was making. He was making about hundreds of millions a month. Now I probably made about a couple mil. You know what I'm saying? He should have did that after 10 years. Dang, talk shit. Don't do that yet. You got to ease your way up the road, the ladder. Or I said the road, but the ladder. You got to ease on up the ladder for about 10 years plus. And then you can talk shit about all the people you want to. Yeah, F you, yeah, F you, I don't like you, I don't like none of you, you suck. I mean, yeah, you got all the bad, you, shit, you could spend money by, by Gucci bags every day. You still gonna have bread, I promise you. It's just people, people don't want to see other people do well, that's why they try to, you know, but hey, y'all, go check out the video, y'all, I'm telling you right now, but yo, stay grounded, yo, that's the key, the key to everything, the key to the bag, the key to you being neutral, the key to you uh, making your life better, everything that, everything that you want comes with grounding all you have to do is stay grounded and i promise you you'll see yo something just came to me and it told me to tell y'all all right y'all thank y'all for liking the video i'm out